Thank you, Yuri. I'm at Frack and Co. because it's a very special night tonight. I'm going to a ball, the Zuckerbeke Ball. And of course, you have to look snappy when you're going to a fancy ball. My name is Chris Cummins, and this episode of Vienna Now is going to be glorious because ball season is upon us. Looking good. All set, let's go to the confectioner's ball. And for a special occasion like this, I decided to take a carriage. And to bring some special friends with me from Canada, Kristin and Sia are running the travel blog Hopscotch the Globe and they're visiting Vienna for the first time. Hey guys. Hi. The first First time in Vienna, first time at a ball? Yes, First ball. time in Vienna, <laughs> yes. I didn't even know that balls existed still. I thought that this was it's just like something... It's an ancient thing, right? Yeah, in, in, in Walt Disney or something. Yeah, Disney yeah. Or in the past, but incredible that they still happen and we're here. Should be a great evening. Have a great time. You guys look gorgeous. Thank you. We're in a convertible with two horsepower. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. we can do the Valtzer. We've practiced a bit. It looks beautiful. I think we should do that, but you know that you're supposed to lead me, right? Are you prepared? I'm prepared. Okay. I'm, I'm a born leader. Okay. Let's give it a go. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Front step together. Back step together. Front step together. Front step together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Every year more than 450 balls are held in Vienna and the confectioner's ball is the sweetest of them all. If I'm lucky, I might win one of the 3,000 cakes that are given away in a tombola. The highlight of the ball season is of course the Vienna Opera Ball. Let's meet the woman in charge of this world famous event, Desiree Treichel Sturk. My name is Desiree Treichel Sturk and I'm the organizer of the Viennese Opera Ball. The first thing is, it takes held in the Wiener Staatsoper, which is the state opera house. So we have the biggest ballroom all over the world. So it's more than 120 meters long 
Um, this is one thing. It's under the patronage of our minister and of the president. The government is coming. We have a special dress code. But one thing for me, it's very important. It's the highlight of the carnival season. So it's uh, always a lot of fun. The classic Viennese ball, it's a little bit like a big party with dancing, but without seated dinner before. For a Viennese ball, the dancing skill has to be absolutely perfect. Because in Vienna, you dance a special waltz, but if somebody um, is not so good in dancing this kind of styles, every ball has a disco, so he can feel free to dance whatever he wants. The first thing when I start to organize the ball is, um, for me, it's always to create the feeling or a nice atmosphere of charm. For me, the guest who is buying a ticket, who is buying boxes at the Opera Ball, um, they always should be treated like king and queens. They should feel to have the best day in their life. My favorite places after a long night, like the Opera Ball, the coffee shop, Tiroler Hof. Just around the corner is the hotel, the, the guest house. It's uh, a quite modern style. The Würstelstand Bitzinger is between Albertina and, and Wiener Staatsoper. Um, this is a cool one because there you will meet everybody. The Vienna State Opera was opened in 1869 and since then it's been considered one of the most important opera houses in the world. In particular, it's the house with the largest repertoire. And it's quite busy throughout the year, producing 50 to 60 operas and 10 ballet productions in approximately 300 performances. Some of today's most famous opera stars like Anna Netrebko, Juan Diego Flores and Diana Damrau perform at the Vienna Opera House. The Opera House was devastated by a bombing raid in 1945 during the Second World War. It was then rebuilt and reopened in 1955. Some parts, such as the central staircase, were unaffected and have been preserved in their original state. What have you made of your first ever Vienna Ball? I love the attire. The attire is amazing. You don't see all the men in bow ties, the women in ball gowns. I love it. And there's so many different rooms for different styles of music and yeah, different dance. You can well. get lost in this place. It's incredible. Well, uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming. Our next episode of Vienna Now is going to be especially tasty. I'm going to take you on a little restaurant tour through the entire city to test out some of Vienna's culinary delights. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time.